Welcome to a very rainy Saturday here in New York City, and this weekend is jam-packed for me. I've been putting a lot of stuff off, you know, life has been lifing, and you know, you can only push stuff off for so long before it comes due, and it is coming due this very weekend, so I guess I gotta get going, because there's a limited time, and I'm not gonna be able to remember everything, so I kinda gotta write stuff down, so let's, let's go write things down. For me personally, writing all this stuff down really helps because otherwise it's just going to be bouncing around my head all day and weekend, it's just going to stress me out. So, uh, Also, in the interest of time and the fact that it would be really boring to just watch me write all this stuff out, here's what I have to do this weekend and pause if you want to read it. Okay. Generally, I don't like to show this stuff. Like, I like to show my, my room, my pop, my environment as like a nice polished space. It, it, it's not. So, in the interest of the vlog, like, here we go. It is an utter mess. Like, I, this clothes, they, they're clean. I, I folded them at one point, and then I moved them from this chair back to there, back to the chair where I sit, and then they're just, you know, this. So, I'm gonna put on some TV, and I'm gonna get this going because I can't focus and, like, do good work when it's, like, coding and shit if my environment's messy. Honestly, no fucking clue what happened with this clip. What I was trying to say though was that it's not perfect, but it's not half bad, and now I can actually get to work. So, yeah. If you've been following along for a little while now, you've probably known that I'm working on a project with a business partner that we're hoping to turn into a full-blown startup. And I'm not ready to announce anything yet, but I think it's coming soon and I've poured a lot of time and effort into this and I'm really excited to share it all with you um, when the time is right. You know, sometimes I wonder why I have such bad posture and like I'm realizing that it's because half the time I'm sitting like this and the other half of the time I'm sitting like this, leaning on my left side. So I'm just not giving myself like a fighting chance, so that's something I gotta work on. But speaking of work, officially, I I've hit all the MVP targets that we've set uh, which is super nice. Um, to be honest, we were done with, like, this is like a lot of boarding because we have one approach, like it's me and my business partner, business partner's handling the business side, I'm handling all the technical stuff. We have this one approach, we pivoted a little bit, but like we can still do with the same technical stuff and just kind of twist it a little bit to, you know, meet the business requirements. Of course, my bright idea about two to three days ago was like, hey, since we pivoted, we actually don't have to go with that like half approach. We can just go with this new approach that's like much more aligned with our, our long-term visions. Um, so like I shot him a text, said, hey, can we, you good with this? Are you aligned? He said, yeah, let's do it. So of course, I give myself like so much more work to do in the last three or four days, but at least base, bare minimum is met. Um, I know the saying is that like, you know, if you're not embarrassed by your first beta, you know, you waited too long to launch, I'd rather not be super embarrassed by it. So like... There's a lot of other stuff I want to do, like improvements, so uh, I'm going to be doing that probably either later today or well, definitely tomorrow I'll be working on it, but i uh, hoping to do a little more later today, but um, kind of got like a headache, just exhausted, like, you know, I code all day during the week, you know, normally, and then, you know, I do this on the weekends or like after work, and I'm just, I am fried, I'm a little dead inside, the only thing that's keeping me going right now is a cup of coffee number two. But before I totally crash, something that's pretty nice right now, I think the rain is kind of stopping. So I think I'm gonna to try to run out to Target and go get some of the stuff I need for the Japan trip, which like toiletries, random other travel stuff that I like might wander. I don't really have much of a plan. I'm just gonna kind of like wander through Target and see what looks good. One day I should really just use the
we also think we got more shit unrelated to the trip than actually related. I should have went there when I was hungry. <laughs> Sometimes things in life just happen that are really unexpected and you just gotta deal with it. Uh, I had some medical stuff recently and basically I had to stop working out and even when I started right now I have to ramp back up. I can't go back to the normal weights that I could lift before. Um, not that like, I physically can't, just I have to make sure that my body, all parts of it, are okay with it. So uh, it's been interesting just to have to ramp back up and really focus on my body and understand how it feels rather than just going for it like I used to. Absolutely love this place. This is the shit. Fuck, focus. Yeah. Fucking delicious. It's like 32. Like what happened in our spring? It was like 70 a week and a half ago. And now it's freezing. Like what the fuck? This was my first run after I got my deviated septum fixed, so I gotta go with a lot of tissues because I don't know if my nose is just gonna start gushing blood when my heart rate gets up, so it should be interesting. I mean I feel fine. I've I worked out a lot before, so it should be fine, but in case. Oh shit, it's so windy. <laughs> Cold. My eyes will stop cheering. Okay, so some pros and cons from that run. Con, I had to cut short, probably about like two and a half miles, which is like. 33 and a half I wanted to do because I was a popsicle. On top of that, I'm just out of shape because like I haven't been able to run like that in like four weeks because of the devious septum. And the, the one pro though is that I didn't start bleeding. So, you know, silver linings. Okay, so with the run over, I figured I should really spend a little more time working on the startup. Um, and then, like I said, the MVP is actually done, so which I'm very happy about. But there's a lot of other things, like whether it's performance, styling, whatever, that like I'd like to just, if possible, do, because I'd rather not be totally embarrassed, but you know. Um, but yeah, no, I, there's still some other stuff I have to do today too. I have to do laundry. To be honest, after a little bit of this, I'll probably just toss it in, you know, be time efficient. And then I still have to edit a video. So yeah, I guess uh, I should go really get to it. So, I've been stuck on something for like a while now and it's starting to piss me off. It kind of sucks. Uh, or I'm just not used to it. Like, I use other stuff, so just, yeah, typing issues. Not fun. But I do have to do laundry. And honestly, this is, this is telling you something. It seems like the lesser of two evils right now, so I guess I gotta go do it. So, Small update, uh, did I go put my laundry in? No, but good news is that I, it was a small issue, but I figured it out, it was a dumb issue, <sighs> but it's, it's working. There's minor tweaks that need to be done, but like the logic is working. Oh, I feel so good. But it also feels shit because I'm like a dumbass. So, you know, potato, potato. I waited way too long to do laundry. But the only reason those two things are on top is because they're new jeans and they might bleed, so I gotta put them separate.
officially at the point that I'm closing the code. Just like this. And then opening Premiere Pro. And it's 8.30. And I'm tired. Why? I'm good. One specific area I'm trying to get better at within making videos and cinematography as a whole is sound design and choosing the right music that helps create the emotional you know, response that I'm looking for and help move the story along. And I'm hoping it's getting better, so let me know. I've been really doing a lot of research into it, and um, yeah, hope I'm moving in the right direction. Yeah, so for the last like two hours, I've just been like watching TV because I'm like exhausted. I'm gonna sleep like a rock. But yeah, I mean, all in all, like, I got like the video to like 80%. MVP for like, the startup is good. Um, all in all, very successful, productive weekend. Um, yeah, not much else to say. I am about to pass out. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about living in New York, drop it below and. Uh, like to step contact consider subscribing thanks for watching